Class and Fry were talking about fractions greater than one and mixed numbers. Here you can see that I've written a unit fraction chain. One fourth plus one fourth plus one fourth plus one fourth plus one fourth. If we look at adding this fraction chain up because it has the same, they all have the same denominator, we get five fourths. Okay? Five fourths has a value greater than one because we know that a whole is four fourths. So if we look at our fraction chain, we can circle one whole as in four fourths. So we know that here we have one whole. Then we need to see what we have left over. And we can see that we have one fourth left over and our mixed number is one and one fourth. We can also say five or four can be divided into five one time with a remainder of one and our denominator stays the same. So that's one other way that you can look at fractions that are greater than one and a mixed number. Here we have another chain of unit fractions. We have one third plus one third plus one third plus one third plus one third. Can we make one whole? Yes, we can. How many thirds do we need to make a whole? Well, we need three thirds. So we can circle that, and we know that three thirds is equal to one whole. Now we have to look at what we have left. How many thirds do we have left? Well, here we have one, two. We have two thirds left. So that becomes our fraction of our mixed number. So if a mixed number is simply a whole number and a fraction. So our mixed number here for this unit fraction chain is one and one half. Lesson 5, we are working on fractions greater than 1 and mixed numbers. Here you can see we have a chain of unit fractions. 1 fourth plus 1 fourth plus 1 fourth plus 1 fourth plus 1 fourth. And if we total that up, because we already have like denominators, we can just simply add the numerators, which 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 equals 5 fourths. So our sum is 5 fourths. We can see that a fraction like this has a value greater than 1. If we were to identify what 1 is, we know that 1 in this chain of fra fractions, in this unit fraction chain, is 4 over 4. And so we'll simply circle 1. 1, 2, 3, 4. So there's one whole there, 4 fourths, is equal to one whole. Then we see what do we have left over. Well, left we have 1 fourth. So we bring down our 1 fourth. So we have 1 and 1 fourth as our mixed number. Here we have another chain of unit fractions. Can we make a whole here? Yes, we can. We need three-thirds to make one whole. So we're going to circle those three-thirds, and you can see that three-thirds equals one whole. And then we need to look and see, what do we have left over? How many thirds do we have left? So we have two-thirds left. So we bring down our two-thirds, and we are left with a mixed number, one and two-thirds. A mixed number is simply a mixture of a whole number and a fraction. So here we are going to see that we can build mixed numbers from unit fractions and the whole number can actually be more than one. So if we're looking at this, we're going to again look at, we are looking with, at one third plus 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 one third. So in order to make one whole, I need three. So I have one hole here, which is three-thirds. I can make another hole here, 
and another then that's another three thirds and then I know that I what I have left is that is not a whole is two thirds. So all I simply need to do then is to add up my whole numbers. One plus one is two, and bring down my fraction, which is two thirds. Two and two thirds. Here we have a mixed number, two and three fourths, and we want to convert that to a fraction. And we're going to look at how we can figure out the parts of this fraction. So we know we have two whole plus three fourths. Okay, two whole, if we break that down, it's one plus one plus three fourths. We can then convert each whole to four fourths. So we would have four fourths plus four fourths plus three fourths. You can see that this one is equal to four fourths. This one or whole is equal to four fourths plus three fourths. And then, because we still have our like denominators, we can simply add the numerators. Four plus four plus three, and we have eleven fourths. Another way to do this for students who don't need the visual is to take the denominator, multiply it by the whole number, and add the numerator. So we would have 4 times 2, which is 8, plus 3, which equals 11 over 4. And we get the same answer.